All right, in the ready here, we're looking at angle pairs and geometry vocabulary. So we're refreshing ourselves on our vocabulary. We're interested in all these different angle types, and we're looking at a pair of parallel lines cut by a transversal. So to start us off, we have corresponding angles. Uh, corresponding angles are going to be ones that are in the same spot at a different cross. So they are exactly the same angle at the different um, places where the transversal crosses the parallel lines. So in this case, we are looking at 1 and 5, 2 and 6, 3 and 7, and 4 and 8. So if you list any of those angles, it will be a correct uh, answer. Then for alternate and exterior angles, you're looking at the angles that alternate the sides of the transversal and the exterior of the parallel lines. So in our case, we have angles 1 and 8 and angles 2 and 7. Then for vertical angles, these are angles that are across from each other in the parallel lines cut by the transversal. So we have 1 and 4, 2 and 3, 6 and 7, and 5 and 8, just like you see in the example below. Alternate interior angles are also on the alternate sides of the transversal, but now they're on the interior of the parallel lines. And so we're looking at 3 and 6 and 4 and 5. So those alternate the transversal and are on the inside of the parallel lines. Same side exterior angles are going to be on the same side of the transversal and the exterior of the parallel lines. Looking at 1 and 7 and 2 and 8. And then supplementary angles. Ooh, supplementary means that the angles add up to 180. So we have a lot of choices as you can see in this diagram. We have any of the x and 180 minus x pairings. So. 1 and 2 are a pair of supplementary angles, 3 and 4 are a pair of supplementary angles, 1 and 3 are a pair of supplementary angles, oops, no, uh, 2 and 4 are a pair of supplementary angles, 1 and 7 are a pair of supplementary angles, uh, 3 and 5 are a pair of supplementary angles, etc, etc. Same side interior angles are the same side of the transversal and interior of the parallels. So we're talking about 3 and 5 and 4 and 6. Then we also have uh, some geometry vocabulary about the transversal and the parallel lines themselves. So I just wanted to show you where those were located. And it also asks you to find complementary angles. Uh, so these are angles that add up to 90 degrees. So they either make up a right angle or they just have measurements that add up to 90 degrees. Solve each angle. Oh, in the set, we're solving equations. So we want to solve the equations, but it asks us to do it algebraically. So before we were using uh, tables and graphs as well, but now we are only using algebra. So if we're looking at this equation, x minus 5 equals the square root of 2x minus 2, we can get rid of that square root by squaring both sides. And so that leaves us with a factored form, x minus 5 times x minus 5 equals 2x minus 2, where the square root gets canceled out by the squared. We need to get it into standard form so we can combine like terms. And then we need to move everything over so it equals 0. So we're going to subtract 2x from both sides and add 2 to both sides, leaving us with x squared minus 12x plus 27. And we can factor that, giving us x minus 3 times x minus 9, which makes it nice and easy to find our x-intercepts, where we set each factor equal to 0 and solve for the x. Now we have to check for extraneous solutions, as the instructions told us. So we're going to plug in this x into the original equation. x minus 5 equals the square root of 2x minus 2. So plug in that 3 and get that negative 2 is not equal to 2. So it turns out 3 is extraneous. Let's take a look at 9. 
9 gives us 4 equal to 4, so 9 is a solution. Finally, in our go, we're going to be doing transformations of geometric shapes. So we're thinking back way to the beginning, first and second unit. We're given this shape, DEFG, and we're going to transform it based on this rule. So you either could know what the rule means, uh, but the easiest way to do this is to identify the points. 1, 3, 5, 3, 7, negative 1, and 1, negative 1 and then apply the rule. So take your x and y uh, values and plug them into the equation. x equals 1, y equals 3, so if the rule is negative y, negative x, the new point is negative 3, negative 1, etc. And then just plot those points on your graph and you have transformed the shape.